Oh man, what a massive come down that was. Atletico positive after two good results in the league, thinking, is this the moment, the momentum swing that we need in this season, knowing what was coming up next month? I mean, it's tough games coming up every single week now from here. And I said they're coming, I said I was confident. I don't know what it was. I just felt there was a little bit of a vibe coming from Atletico and from the previous games, like I said, then in the Premier League. But it just went back. I mean, it had that half-time feeling of the Burnley, the Middlesbrough type of game. And it's like, why can't we finish? Why can we not put the ball in the net? This place is coming like a disease to these strikers now. And I say strikers, we haven't actually got a striker. I've seen to everyone then that? on the fan vlogs. It's literally, what, six forwards on in the end there. And we've got, what, not one of them, an actual striker. How oh, is this happening at this football club? It's quite clear now that number nine in our team is desperate, desperately needed. And that might actually be the reason why we don't make top four this season. Why we're listening to Europa League music on a Thursday night instead of being instead of dining at the top table with the big guns. That's how I feel it's going right now because I go on about mentality all the time. We have plenty of debates on the live shows about playing. He's better. You play him. You control this. You control that. You control that. But when the chips are down, and yeah, it was tidy in the first half. If you haven't got that mental strength to handle the anxiety in this crowd because we've not scored yet. It feeds off into them players and then we start to struggle. If you haven't got that, you haven't got that now upstairs then, you're not going to win here. Simple as that. And then the scared play started to creep in again. The forced play started to creep in again. So what do you do? You look to your bench to try and change it up. And once again, the options there are not good enough. Simple as that. I'm going to go on. Ronaldo should have been subbed off. It should have. It's not working with him. And... Ronaldo is one of them players, and I said it the other day, I said, which Ronaldo is going to turn up? Against Brighton, he saved us. He did. The moment of brilliance that only he can produce, he produced, and that's what changed the game. But if that moment, and I can't believe I'm saying just moments, isn't there, and it shouldn't have to be relied on for that for us, we should be able to control games. If that moment's not there, he's easy to play against. Watford had a field day today. I don't know what it was with him. He just we often got nothing from him. We didn't get anything from him against Atletico either. Same again against Watford here. This is a team that's going down. This is a team that's going to be relegated this year. Again, another one. Four points this lot have taken off us this year. Do we deserve to be in top four if that's what's happening against teams like Watford? They were shocking. They offered absolutely nothing. But in the end, I looked at it and went, actually, for all the chances that we had or domination that we had because I'm gathering I've not looked at the stats yet the possession stats are probably astronomical the shots are probably astronomical but how many saves did Foster make? what? two from Bruno that I can remember off the top of my head one in the first half which was a great save we should have scored and then one from a shot from Bruno in the second half out of all the shots and all the chances this lot can't hit the target never mind making Foster have a decent game I'm praising Den Foster for, for pulling it out of the bag he had it easy today so for all the possession and the decent football that people are saying, which there was tidy football at times, we're still not even making the goalkeeper from a relegated team actually make a save. And I think I've said that before. Oh, yes, I did. Burnley, same again. We're actually drawing games, losing games to teams that are in the championship pretty much already. You pull Middlesbrough in that equation as well. This place is becoming a burden on these players. You can handle it, or you can't. It's as simple as that. Going away from home, the pressure seems to be off of a few of these players. But this crowd now are that starved of success for what they're paying for, that they want more. And as soon as half time came, I knew what I said to the guy next to me. I said, look, if this goes any further than 55, 60 minutes, the agitation, the anxiety is gonna creep into this crowd and the atmosphere is going to drop. The atmosphere is gonna turn more negative and that's what happened. We heard shouts, we heard Ronaldo being called out, Bruno called out, Pogba, Ambazaka. Ambazaka had an all right game, but in the end, they're maiming people talking him down like, Jesus, what's that? Why are you not passing this way? Why is it not quicker? Why are you not making the overlap? That's because the crowd have got to a stage now, coming here at Old Trafford, that they're expecting things to build the atmosphere. They're not getting behind the team as much because the team aren't giving enough back. And that's how it feels. 
I mean, some people may differ who have been here today. Most of the people I've spoke to think it's pretty much on point with that. But for me, all I'm seeing is a crowd here that's frustrated, angry, and fed up of this team failing. Do you know what I mean? And everyone is actually talking now, end of season here today. I know there's a lot of games to go, and this can still swing our way. We could still make top four. Yes, of course we could. But you've got to be realistic and look at the games coming up next. City away. Really? No, we lose that, then we're probably going down to about six. Then you've got Spurs at home, you have to win that. Liverpool away, can you honestly see United getting a result against Liverpool? I can't. It'll be a miracle if we do, and these players will really have to turn up because we can't score goals. We can't score goals, and if we can't score goals, you're relying on that defence, which was all right today against the Paul Watford team, but we've seen the frailties in it. And I said it week in, week out. These are the games that we would normally lose, yes, because the strikers aren't scoring goals and in the end, putting too much pressure on the defence. Today, Watford, with that poor, the defence was never really in trouble, but I counted there today, I'll be amazed to look at the stats later, that Watford, for how crap they were, had the same amount of shots on target as us, or very, very close. Now let that sink in, that tells you exactly where we're going wrong here today. Ronaldo is a problem up front, not because of Ronaldo and what he is, because we can't play to Ronaldo-style football. And he's easy to play against because we cannot adapt our game to work with him. That's the problem. So do you change it? Do you drop Ronaldo? No, you can't. It's impossible to drop Ronaldo. So again, too many big names, too many overplay players. It's not going to change while everyone's here. Does, do we have to just try and fast forward to the summer and try and overhaul this? For me now, Ralph has got a pretty much impossible job going forward. I don't see how it changes because we've got no one, like I said, to come on off the bench. And I don't see how we change the style because we're too far into the season. That's the problem. It's miracle time, boys and girls. It really is. Are we going to see this miracle performance against Liverpool, Spurs and City? Possibly even Atletico. I mean, in a week, I was quite confident about the Champions League and going through. But now... I look at games like that and I go, God, they've got to come here. And then you forget, oh God, the virus that is Old Trafford at the moment and this team, and that's the problem. They are struggling mentally to handle the pressure that this crowd is now throwing on them. It's too long to wait as a United fan for success. And that's what's coming out of the fans and that's bleeding out onto the pitch and the players are struggling to handle that. Guys, let me know what you think. Like, share and subscribe to United Stand as always. Thanks for tuning in. Disappointing day again, but we'll be back. I'll see you all tomorrow on the Sunday show. See you later.